Hello and welcome to episode 23 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode, and it is back to the incredible story, the almost Christmas miracle-like first six games of the season for uh, Korean Diacra's Claremont Foot, with the promoted side now sitting pretty solidly in uh, seventh place with 10 points, and they have the top score in the league. Uh, let's go and have a look at who we're playing today. So we are at home in the Coupe de France against Montpellier. They are a position above us in the league. Should be an interesting battle. And then we go against fourth place Lille, who've started the season at quite a pace. They've won four, so uh, they're probably going to be a pretty big test. And then look at that next episode. Three games here in a week. That's brutal. Absolutely brutal. So I think uh, some sort of rotation in the second game could be quite important. Let's go and have a look at the sides today. So great performance in the last game. Obviously, we've done well against the middling sides. Not so well against the bigger sides so far. But that's sort of to be expected. I think there's quite a big golf in Liga compared to a lot of leagues between the top teams and the uh, sort of mid to bottom teams. And we've seen that already. Now, Wellington Nem is on a downward arrow. Uh, the front three, no one's looking great there. But I've uh, got to be tempted to play someone else here. And it's going to either be Malero or Gufran coming in. Uh, Malero somehow doesn't change the team spirit at all, whereas Gufran takes it down to 82. Uh, this is probably a good time to compare the two of them now. Uh, I guess we could also move Ivy Lopez back there. He comes in at 73. Passetto at 72. Um, Ivy Lopez is 72 rated as well. Just using the little uh, plotted thing between the two players. Um, compare Malero to Ivy Lopez. Well, Ivy Lopez is not as good a passer, but pretty much better than him in every other place. Although, actually, defensively, Gonzalo Malero is uh, is very good. He's an interesting player, Malero. Good passer. Uh, not a particularly good finisher, but he's got great ball winning, good defensive prowess, but he is slow. He's not the attacking midfielder dynamo that we really need there and that Wellington then definitely is. Gufran is a little bit better in that position. Uh, the question would be who would be play out on the left? Koyalapu and Karamo. Neither of them in great form. Koyalapu, he's looked tidy when given the chance. I think we'll just play Yoan Gufran. We'll keep that front three the same. I think we'll try and do that as much as possible. Pacetta has been talking in the comments about whether he's a player we should let go in January. And then uh, some of you mentioning that actually he's been playing quite well and he's got a few assists. And you're right, he has. He's been um, quietly doing his business, I feel, out on the right. So we'll give him a few more chances. So a quick look at Gufran just to remind ourselves uh, he can finish. He's just a really good all-round player. Basically, all of the important stats are 75 or above. He's very... He's not really lacking in any areas at all. Uh, and he's got amazing run as well. So we'll give him a give him a run out. Should be interesting. So it is always a tricky conundrum for the sort of lower teams in any league when they go into the cup. What do you do? Do you put all of your effort into it? Put your first team in? Risk getting injuries? But then also, obviously, putting yourselves in line for what could be a shock cup run. And uh, if you don't try, then you don't succeed. That's pretty basic stuff. And although we want to stay in the league and uh, that's the priority, it would be lovely to have a good run in the cup. It can really be great for the fans. It can be great for confidence. Obviously, if we're hit by injuries and fatigue as a result, it may be the wrong decision. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. So we're going full strength in this one. Let's see if we can get something. We are at home, so let's do it. First goal kick of the game and Bernardoni's going to go long. Test the centre-back with Ferrobori Dori. Oh, it's fallen to Encham. Lovely work. He can poke it into Ivy Lopez. Oh, great speed away from his man with a right foot effort. Just wide. Just wide. Decent, though, there from Ivy. Showed great pace, great explosiveness. And Cham snuck in, poked a simple ball into him. But this was good running here. Couldn't quite wrap his foot around it properly. Just wide. Oh, nice passing here from Montpellier. Sio gets away from Zagadu. Rasps off a shot. And I think a lot of the fans thought that was in. That was dangerous. Sio, one to look out for. He's clearly got... Uh, Good first touch in him, and he hit that very well. Away from Zagadu. Oof, not far off. Here comes Dolly. Asibiadi goes in early. Misses it. Kept alive now. Back out to Dolly. Asibiadi. Again, watching for the cutback in. Lovely stuff from Asibiadi there. And now Passetto will bring it forward. Ball out to Asibiadi, who uh, tackled. And now will look to uh, launch the break. Strong running from the right back. Cuts back in. Into Passetto. He'll move it on to Doolin. Good stuff. Spreading the play here. Doolin out to Duarte. First time into Lopez. He'll look to slip it into Dory. Couldn't quite get it to him. That's going to go out for a throw here to Claremont. 17 minutes in. No real chances except for the early one from uh, Ivy Lopez in Cham. Lovely ball into Lopez. Twists and turns away. Still has it somehow, but Remy wins it back. 
Sio now through the centre. It's well tracked back though by everyone. Doolin gets a body on it. Not cleared. Sio edge of the box. Back to Ninga. Good effort. Oh, Bernardoni pushed it into the floor there. Any sort of error there from Bernardoni, that would have gone under his body. It was risky, risky goalkeeping. So half an hour in, and it's been pretty tight, to be honest. Um, I don't know if either side really will go in at the break if the scores remain the same, feeling that they should have done more or could have got more out of this one. Montpellier looked pretty dangerous coming forward. Good head away from Duarte. Ivy Lopez, well tracked. And now, 30 minutes in. We've got men forward in this break. Goufran through the centre, pokes it into Lopez, just about gets there. Dory back to Encham, that's a smart ball. And Encham will spread it wide now to Asibiadi. He's fouled in the process, but referee says play on. It's good advantage. Bassetto. He's got two men around him, but he's made his way out of that well. The cross is blocked. And Mendes will put it out for a throw. And it goes all the way back for that foul. It was pretty nasty. Asibiadi's got a bit of space here. He can whip a ball in. Lopez will jump for it. Oh, straight at the keeper. Not a bad header. But easy save in the end. Co now. On the counter-attack here. Zagadou's come out of position. Ruslan cuts inside. Dangerous here. Co sees the ball. All out to him. Benza. Duarte reads it well. And Ivy Lopez reads the danger nicely. That's well played. Duarte inside to Encham. Now Dory. He's got Goufran. Or oh, Goufran decides not to go for it. Dory holds it up well. Ivy Lopez now edge of the box. He'll curl one. Oof, not far off. Not far off. Good counter-attacking there from Claremont. It was strong passing. Dory did well to hold it up here. This strength. Get off. Get get off. And it's the third chance of the game for Ivan Lopez. Unfortunately, that one wide as well. It's getting closer. And that is half-time here in Claremont. Well, three chances for Ivy. None of them taken. Only one on target. That surprises me. I'm sure he had more on target. But, yeah, they've all fallen. To Lopez, the honor at replacement. He hasn't quite managed to uh, hit any of them convincingly so far. Dory's not had any chances and we are missing the dynamism of Wellington Nem. Gufran has been pretty quiet, to be honest. We do have a lot of changes we can make in the second half. But uh, yeah, I feel like there's still goals in this, even though the stats would say Montpellier on top. I think, uh, I think we're the ones most likely to score, hopefully. Come on. They come again. Sio lays it off. That's nice. Sagadu's lost Sio now. Back to him, Benza. He gets away from his man. Lovely, strong hands there from the Bernadon. It's not been in the best form so far this season, but still obviously pretty reliable. Adu now into Co. Ooh. Gufran releases Dory and he finds Lopez through the centre. Lopez has to go back out to Dory. He'll put a ball into Doolin in the box. Doolin! Oh, he's, he's uh, uh, still not going to fall to anyone. Lopez nearly... Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. I thought Doolin was going to get a rare goal there. Now Montpellier right down the end at the other end. Coming forward. It's a lovely ball into C. Oh, no. Oh, that's heartache. That is heartache. One end of the pitch. So close to scoring. And then Co down the other end. And the defence just went to shit then. Not quite sure what happened. We have men back. Just about. I mean, that's a beautiful ball through. Nothing we can really do about that. Zagadou was tracking Co, but he got away from him that time. Can't believe it. So having gone behind, Corindy Acro has dipped into her options here. And it is the young duo of Caramo and Koyalapu. On for Ivy Lopez, who really should have scored. And Dory as well. And then Wellington M on for Gufran, who's been a little bit disappointing. So can we do something with youth here? Caramo looks to win the first header, and he does. Then in Cham pokes it through to him. Ball into Koyalapu now, straight into the box. Koyalapu tries to turn. Rousselon's a good challenge. Osibiadi sprays the ball out wide to Duarte. Goes inside to Koyalapu. Turns and finds Wellington Nem. Ball round the corner into Duarte. He's beautifully weighted. Will Duarte get there? No, that's good defending. Nice ball from Nem, though. Testing uh, Duarte's pace down that left-hand side. Can we work something late on here? Ball out to Doolin. It's an into Koyalapu. To turn inside. Lovely footwork. The curler. Oh, it's fallen to Caramo. Oh, that was a shock. <laughs> I thought, don't think that was going in. But if it was, Caramo just nicked it off the. <laughs> before it even got a chance to go in, I don't think it was going in. Sibiadi, keep it in. Yes. Oh, and then he has it nicked back off him. CO now to seal it. Oh, 
Alcibiade. Well, he tried to hold on to it to try and launch the break, and he was caught out. And it is Sio with his second goal. He has been a pain in our ass today. He's been incredible. He has looked like the best player on the pitch by a long way. Dooley invested there, and it's all over. The cup dream is done. Caramo steps inside, gets the shot away with the left. His first shot of the game. And it's going to be the last chance for Claremont. And in front of the home fans, it's disappointing. I think 2-0 flatters Montpellier slightly. But at the end of the day, we're out of the cup. And, uh, well, now Corinne Diacra, will she do a Mourinho and uh, go into the press conference and say, we never planned to push in the cup. But actually, that's not going to be very believable, seeing as we started an almost first choice 11. Oh, disappointing. Disappointing, especially for Mivy Lopez in that first half, missing three good chances. And in the second half, well, Co he was the difference. Absolutely. He looked quality throughout. Gutted. The first round. The first round. And we need to bounce back now. And it's not an easy game up against Lille, who've been excellent this season. Let's see how everyone's going to respond to that disappointing one. Well, once again, the front three, all on yellow arrows. That's no good. Kyalapu on a downward arrow. Maybe that's when Karamo blocked his shot in the last game. It's really upset him. Other than that, I think we stick with the same 11. Um, Passetto, I think he played all right, actually, in that last game. But Gufran, he was disappointing. Good to have Wellington then back in the centre. Let's get into it. In the lovely white kit as well. Come on. So what did I say before the last game? We don't care about the cup. The cup's a piece of shit. All we care about is the league. Well, if I didn't say that, that's what I meant to say. And, uh, yep, Lille, well, they have had a good start to the season. As have we. As have we. We've got the top scorer. Still only in seventh place. And, uh, yeah. We've struggled against the bigger sides. I wouldn't say Lille necessarily one of the bigger sides. But they've started very, very well, as I say. So, uh, yeah, it should be a good matchup today. In a nice big stadium as well. Let's get into it. Come on. Oh, good passing to start off with. And that's a lovely ball to find Thiago in the centre. Puts it in. Oh, come on, Zagadou. How have you missed that? Benzia gets Lille off to the perfect start. Let's take another look at that. That needs a bit of post-mortem. I mean, the passing around was great. And uh, Decore missed that completely. But Zagadou, you cannot be beaten there. He almost dodged out of the way. I mean, that is just... That is just poor. He's been such a good player for us. I don't know if he knew the player was coming in. Maybe he got... Hand in the back there, a little bit of a push. I don't know, but it's not good enough. And that puts us, uh, well, it's not the best start ever. Duarte into Ivy Lopez. Oh, that's beautiful from Lopez. Releases Duarte. He's got Dory to aim for. Dory with the run across his man at the near post. Gets a left foot to it. Lovely work here from Ivy Lopez. Drew the two men in. Then that back heel released Duarte. Only had Dory to aim for in the box. Dory got there, but it was always going to be difficult from that angle. Strength from Doolin. Lovely work from the captain. Now he finds in Cham. Into Wellington Nem. Lovely, lovely football here. Now Lopez. Can he time the ball over into Dory? He can. Akore's there, but Dory out muscles him. Oh, the pot. I didn't mean. Oh, that was. Oh, <laughs> that was human error. Tried to cancel the shot, and then it just came up again. I don't know what happened there. And Cham, lovely ball to Wellington Nem. And we're playing some excellent football anyway. Ivy Lopez, that wasn't the ball. Oh, I'm making mistakes here. Damn it. Dooling reads that well. And now we'll play it back. And we'll play it across the defence. Once again, it's going to be Zagadou to bring it forward. It's time the centre back will find Duarte. Ball inside to Ivy Lopez. Back out to Wellington Nem. Sees the run of Duarte. Will he get the better of his man? He does. Now Ruben Duarte keeps possession well. Oh, Nem loses out, but Duarte will get to this. Still alive here. Pokes it in for Dory. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Well, Lille will feel that we are definitely pushing them. But we still haven't quite managed to make a big chance yet. And they look so dangerous as well in possession. This has been an excellent game so far. Feels like it could go either way. That's a big mistake though there. And now Ivy Lopez can bring it forward. Steps inside of a core. Still Lopez runs into trouble. Runs into a blind alley. Dory's got there though. Now Wellington Nem. Steps away. Ah. Still not cleared though. Dooling. Looking for options. Out to Encham. Slowed down considerably here. Lopez back out to Duarte. He'll whip a ball in. And it's out for a corner. Well, Lille were looking a little bit frightened there. They were dropping off us. 
Giving us, a giving us a chance to pass the ball around. They look a little bit scared. We've come back pretty heavily. Flies it in for Dory. Won't get there. Oh, Sibiadi maybe made a mistake here. Oh, it's going to fall to him. Now Passetto pokes it in looking for Dory. Looks for the ball back. Still not cleared. Passetto will jump. Oh, that's some ball. Lopez turns. Oh, what a pass that was. Who was that? Gorgeous, but we still can't quite break down this defence. Oh, Benzia's got away from Decore, but Decore makes up the ground well, and Bernardoni gets there. First half nearly over. Decore and Zagadou have made up, but not quite made up for that mistake from Zagadou, which cost us the first goal, and uh, three minutes in, that's an absolute sickener because we came back into this game massively. Still only managing one shot, though. Felt like we had loads. We had so much possession. Again, it felt like that. We actually didn't, but... It really felt like we were pushing Lille all the way there, but yeah, maybe maybe it just felt like that. I'm not sure. But in the second half, while they are hard to break down, I have to say, very, very difficult. We've done a lot of good work near the box, not really in the box yet. We need more. We need a lot more in this second half. Zagadou so flashes it wide to Alcibiadi. Then finding Cham in the centre. Into Wellington Ned. Into Lopez. Just dropping a bit deeper. Out to Duarte. Now Nem. Steps away from his man. Dory. Oh, that's a lovely tackle. They are like an absolute brick wall. As soon as we get anywhere near to their, their area, they just collapse on us. Their defenders are so strong. And then they break like this. It's dangerous. They are a very, very good side. They're having a great start to the season. They've won four of the first six. Oh, and Cham. Good stuff. No, that's a poor ball. Dooley. No, come on. Come on. Concentrate. Baluli over this one. It's going to be Zagadou to header away. Good header away from the big man. Edge of the box. Oh, another corner. Pressure on here again. Another goal now from Lille would be a death sentence as they are so strong at the back. Decorio will header away here and he headers away well. Oh, oh, how has he got through there? Benzia with the effort. Good save from Bernardoni. That's, oh God, we're struggling. We really are struggling. Another corner here. Can we withstand the pressure much longer? Bahuli. Again, Decore will header away. Nivy Lopez will find Dory. Can the two of them now create a two-man break? Dory finds Lopez again. Can Dory make the right run? No, Lopez is taken out. That's an elbow to the face there on the Spaniard. And rightfully a yellow card there for the Lille player. Unnecessary there from IE. Ooh, nasty. So it's in Cham over this one. What can we do? Passetto's made a sneaky run. That's well worked. Can Passetto find the ball in? He goes back to in Cham. He takes it around his man. Can he dig out a cross here? He can. Looking for Dory at the far post. Get in there. Ferrabori Dory. He's been out of the goals for a whole game. And he doesn't like that. And uh, well, he's an absolute villain at the far post. And he snuck in there. Great work from Incham and Passetto to keep the ball alive after a well-worked free kick. This is great play here from Incham. Throws the dummy. Takes it to the byline. Digs a cross out. And then, uh, yeah, you don't want to be going up against Dory in that sort of position. We're back in this one. And deservedly so. After a lot, a lot of pressure from Lille. Dooling. Good foot to that one. And Passetto goes straight away into Ferrobori Dory. He's going to have to try and hold this up. Wait for backup. And he does that well. And spreads it wide to Duarte. That's good. Oh, what are you doing there? Somehow we get it back. In Cham. Into Wellington Nem. Pokes it into the path of Lopez. Takes it there. Oh, that is some defending. I thought that was it. I thought that was 2-1. Oh, that was incredible defending. Did so well. It looked like Ivy Lopez had done everything right. Thiago Mendes. Ruben Duarte tracking him. It's a nice ball into Mendes. He's found a bit of space. Zagadou, great tackle. Now Lopez will find Olivier and Cham. We're bobbing forward here. He's got Wellington Lem to his left-hand side. That's a lovely ball into the Brazilian. Sees the run of Passetto. Who can he look for in the box now? Passetto comes back inside. But still Passetto with the finish. You're kidding me. Oh, he did everything right. Everything right except for do the one thing that he just simply can't do, which is score a goal. Skip back inside his man and then showed good pace to get to this one. With the left foot, he's put it wide. Could have been the game winner there. What a way to score your first goal that would have been. 
Oh, dearie me. Benzia, Zagadu misses the challenge. Lopez pressuring De Guzman, but they've still got it now. Edgar can put a ball in. Zagadu, great challenge. And then finds in Cham. Olivier and Cham now. 84 minutes gone in this one. Here comes the Frenchman. He's going to have to play this wide to Dory. It's a well-weighted ball. Dory, can he keep it in? No! Damn it! So it's Dory coming off for Caramo. And it's first minutes here for Gonzalo Malero. He comes on for Doolin to add maybe a little bit more attackingness in the central midfield. Only got five minutes left in this one. Lopez again. Good work in the air. And then finds in champ. He's tackled by De Guzman though. And they win it back. It's gone all the way through. Long ball. Passetto does well to get in ahead of his man. And now Malero. On as the captain for some reason. Caramo holds it up. Still no one with him. Good work from Jan Caramo though. Out to Malero, the substitute. He turns away. Chips it out looking for Caramo. Oh, and he gets the cross in. Goes out for a corner here. And it will be Gonzalo Malero to whip this one in. He's got good pedigree from set-piece situations. It's a great ball. Zagadou will jump. Couldn't get there. Caramo will keep it alive, though. Ball into Encham. Turns his man. Livia Encham will hit this one. Oh, could have been the game winner there. And Yema will be happy to get his gloves on that one. Lopez putting the pressure on. Two minutes left in this one. And Cham gets there. Get there, Duarte. No. Looks like it's going to be a draw here. But, uh, well, it's a draw that we definitely had to work hard for. Make sure we hold on to it, though. Come on. Zagadou. Oh, my God. Wellington Nem keeps it. One minute left in this one. Got to move. Got to go. Got to go. Oh. One more ball over the top could have done it. Well... We've got to look at the positives here. The point was hard, hard fought for. It did feel in that second half, though, that the momentum was with us. We could have gone on to win that one. But yeah, it was very, very tight against a really good side. So we've got to take the points and be happy with that sometimes. Uh, a lot of missed chances. But then also, we kept pushing. We kept, kept pushing. And we, Dory got his goal eventually. But yeah, Lille were, they were hard to play against at the back. They were a very, very solid back four. So we'll take the point. That season's on 11. We have scored the second most goals in the league this season. We've got a great goal difference. Uh, we are in eighth, but I think we've been playing really well. We've lost two, drawn two, won three. It's a pretty good record, really, for a newly promoted side. And we haven't conceded that many goals, really. Um, we're unlucky, I think, in the end, not to get the three points there. I don't know. I'm not sure if I can be happy or not with that. I think, I think at the end of the day, I probably am. So Zagadou up to 72, Saavedra up to 71. He continues to tick, tick over. Don't think we necessarily have needed to play him to get the most out of his dramatic improvement. So there we have it. I mean, we were so close in that one, so close. I'll absolutely take it. There's Ruben Duarte and Masuema. They look to be good buds. So join me in the next episode for two games against 5th place and 12th place in four days. That's going to really test us. And then uh, when do we play PSG? Oh, not far off. That's going to be... Is that in one episode? Hang on. One, two. One, two. Oh, yeah. Not long from now, we'll be playing PSG and Marseille in the same episode. That's going to be tough. We need to get ourselves in a good position before then because they are going to be hard as nails. So I hope you're all having a great Christmas day if you're watching this on Christmas Day. And if not, well, I hope you had a good Christmas day or a great one. I hope you had one or are having one if you're... Anyway, season's greetings from me and I'll see you in a bit.